Heath Ledger's death announcement on January 22, 2008 shocked the world. Since then, millions of fans worldwide have started to believe that the actor's death was a hoax and that he is still alive and well. Some believe it was a murder, while others think the talented actor could still be alive. But why? Why did the Ledger's friend claim that Heath Ledger is still alive? When Heath Ledger passed away in 2008, the world was in shock. The actor Heath Ledger was found dead today in an apartment here in New York City. He was just 28 years old. The Australian actor was only 28 years old and at the peak of his career. He seemed to have everything for his fans. His portrayal of the Joker in The Dark Knight was his last performance, was his last performance. Ledger's portrayal of the Joker was considered by many to be the best rendition of the character in Batman movies. His legendary performance was cut short by his untimely death. The cause of Heath Ledger's death was officially attributed to accidental misuse of prescription drugs. After the actor's death, numerous rumors circulated, but none of them could be substantiated. Most of these rumors were related to Ledger's portrayal of the Joker and the belief that it somehow led to his death. Even Jack Nicholson, who had previously played the Joker character, had advised Ledger not to take on the role. Despite Nicholson's warnings about the impact of the character and the negative effects it could have on a person, Ledger accepted the role. After this news broke, people started to believe that Ledger died because of the Joker role. Ledger had secluded himself in a hotel room for a month, trying to immerse himself in the role of the Joker. This was a dangerous approach for his mental state. However, Ledger was determined to deliver a different performance from the previous portrayals of the Joker in the previous Batman films. Could it be that getting too absorbed in the character of the Joker, which won him an Oscar posthumously, led to his demise? Ledger had become deeply attached to the character he portrayed as described in an interview. He referred to the Joker as a psychopathic, mass-murdering, schizophrenic clown, and his diary revealed how deeply he was affected by the character. The unexpected news of Ledger's death arrived on January 22. He was found unconscious in his bed by his assistant Teresa Solomon and masseuse Diana Wolazine at his apartment in Soho, Manhattan. After they alerted the police, Ledger's family members also arrived at the scene. Following these events, supposed death in 2008, hundreds of eyewitnesses claimed to have seen him in various cities around the world including shopping malls, taxis, and even in Perth, his hometown. And then an interesting incident occurred. Tony Canal, the bassist of the band, no doubt, was shocked by an individual who claimed that Heath Ledger was still alive and living in Tony's house. Tony Canal had purchased the house from Heath Ledger in 2005, the individual named George Leonardo Paulos claimed to be an old friend of Ledger and stated that Ledger, who passed away in 2008, was still living in his former house. Musician Tony Canal, age 52, has been harassed with his family at his home in Los Angeles for some time, and he filed a lawsuit against a man named George Leonardo Paulos, stating that his family is now afraid of this situation. Leonardo Paulos also threatened Tony Canal and his family, saying, if you know what's good for you, you'll let me in. The court issued a restraining order against Leonardo Paulos for disturbing the family. In short, Leonardo Paulos claims that Heath Ledger is still alive and hiding in the house where he used to live. But could Heath Ledger really be alive? There are some suspicious circumstances. 
first suspicion, time of death. All the news channels and newspapers wrote the time of Ledger's death as 3.36 in the morning. But then the security guard of the apartment building said it was about 3.45. It was okay, Ledger. He was on a phone call with someone. I think the TV was on. But it was 2.45 a.m. when the housekeeper noticed that Ledger was not breathing. Our second suspicion, the foot part in the body bag. Ledger fans claim that the feet of the corpse seen in the body bag are very thin, so there may not be a person in the bag, but a statue made of wax. Although the rest of the body parts are realistic, the foot side looks very thin. Could it be that the bag was stuffed inside and the leg part was forgotten? Our third suspicion, Mary Kate Olson. When the news of Ledger's death reached Mary Kate Olson, who we know was a very close friend of Heath, she was at home. And it is said that she didn't even react and even attended a celebration next day. Why would someone not react when their close friend dies? And why would you attend a party and have fun the next day? There are also those who claim that Ledger staged his death because he was overwhelmed by fame and had some difficulties in his life. They suggest that he faked his death to start a normal life and escape from the pressures of fame and his troubled relationship with his wife. And there is one more interesting claim. Fans have suggested that the director of the film, Christopher Nolan, prepared such a plan to boost the film's box office by thinking that the film would not be successful. It is said that Ledger was shown as dead, and the final scene of the film could not be shot because he died. This way, the film would be talked about more, and everyone would go to see the film in honor of Ledger. This theory reminds me of Paul Walker. Let me create another theory for you. Before Ledger's role in the Batman film, he was not famous. That's why Warner Bros. opposed Nolan, because many people believe that Heath Ledger did not have enough experience to play in a Batman film. Heath Ledger, when looked back today, is among the actors who did justice to the role of the Joker in the best way possible. However, when the name Heath Ledger was announced, people were surprised by this choice. Because at that time, although he was successful, he was far from his current fame. But the director Nolan was aware of Ledger's talent and gave him the role of the Joker. Now, let's strain our brains a bit, assuming that Ledger's death was fake in order to understand the reason behind it. Ledger may have seized the opportunity of his life thanks to Nolan. Perhaps Nolan devised a plan to boost the film's box office revenue. He would orchestrate a fake death for Heath Ledger to attract more viewers to the movie. And indeed, the news of Ledger's death propelled the film to break records. The film grossed over a billion dollars, making it the highest grossing Batman film to date. Even before its release, Ledger's tragic death and the subsequent rumor of a fake death had piqued people's interest. Many started to believe that Ledger hadn't actually died and that there would be a surprise in the film or that he would appear at an awards ceremony to collect his award. All these theories generated interest in the Bateman film. As a result, the film reached a billion-dollar revenue mark and garnered tremendous attention. In this regard, it also became the first comic book film to surpass the $1 billion milestone in history. So, what does this mean? If Ledger indeed faked his death, Nolan might have been involved in this plan. Nolan gave him the opportunity of A, his lifetime. But maybe he asked for something significant in return. As part of this role, he wanted Ledger to fake his death. He not only helped him fulfill his dream by giving him the Joker role, but also possibly ensured that he could live a life without having to work, possibly by offering him a substantial share of the box office revenue. At that time, there were also claims that Heath Ledger had debts. Since Nolan couldn't make a fake death offer to an established actor like Christian Bale, his best option 
was someone who would be interested in a major role and a significant amount of money. That person could only be Heath Ledger. This way, Ledger cemented his place in people's minds with his brilliant performance and the Oscar he won, becoming a legend. And the Oscar goes to Heath Ledger in the Dark Knight. No matter how talented Ledger was, Hollywood is ruthless. So Ledger might have never had such an opportunity in his life. A fantastic role, a substantial amount of money, and an Oscar. Ledger may have wanted to embark on a new life, gaining many things. Do the fake deaths in the Batman film Give us a clue? In the Batman films directed by Christopher Nolan, we have witnessed several instances of fake deaths. The Joker faked his death by getting inside a body bag. Commissioner Gordon was also believed to have died, but later returned. After the Joker blew up the hospital, it was believed that Harvey Dent had died, but he managed to reappear. And in the final film, everyone thought Batman had died and they even built him a grave. But Batman wanted to start a new and peaceful life, so he faked his death. So, we have seen numerous instances of fake deaths in the Batman film. What do you think about this theory? Do you believe that Heath Ledger might have faked his death, thanks to Nolan? If Heath Ledger is still alive, why do you think he would have faked his death? My opinion is that Heath Ledger was indeed killed. His fate resembles that of Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, more than Paul Walker's. Eight days before the completion of filming The Crow, Brandon was shot with a gun fired by his co-actor, Michael Massey. It was claimed to be an accidental death, but I believe it was an assassination. So in my opinion, Heath Ledger was killed by someone. But who benefited the most from this? Will we ever be able to learn the truth? Probably not. But the legend of Heath Ledger will live on forever.